we're gonna take some time out of our usual scheduled crazy time. <laughs> life has been exceptionally busy, uh, just because it's life. <laughs> um, but uh, we just stopped by Valley Village today, and I was obvious, obviously, clearly, completely in a daze because I wasn't paying any attention whatsoever. We went back to the the toy section. And I looked through the, I glanced, I perused through the area where they usually have Lego bricks and bags. And uh, I said, oh, the, 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 it's not even worth looking at. There's one bag of completely non-Lego. And uh, I said, ah, I'm just going to meander while Sandy and Josh were looking around for other stuff. So I get over and I find them. And Josh goes, did you see, did you see the Lego over there? And I'm going, I saw a bag of basically junk. Um, non Lego. He says, No, 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 there's like two or three bags of Lego there. And I go, Really? Like, I, I didn't look, like, as I said, I just perused and can't. I was actually more interested in going and checking out the kitchen supplies because I keep on looking for a grill, like an oven grill, uh, that we can put in a trailer that's wide enough to go over top of the fire pits because we like making our nachos. <laughs> over top of the fire we get one of those little aluminum tins from uh from uh the dollar store and we put the uh the, the, the chips in there and the salsa in there and the cheese in there we cover it with foil and we put it on top of the fire uh drink at nighttime and and then we have nachos cooked over the fire and it's awesome like you don't want to burn it but you don't want to but uh we've done that a few times now the issue is that sometimes the fire pit doesn't have its own grate that folds over. Most provincial parks have the nice fire pit with the fold over grate and some don't have that. And so I just want to keep like a large oven rack in the, uh, in the trailer. So every time you go to Valley Village, now I just go over to the kitchen area and I try to find a, uh, because sometimes I remember seeing them years ago that it's just a full size oven rack that would be just sitting there. Uh, I keep on looking for one. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't, I mean, I could go buy a grill um off of whatever camp supplies are us or whatever or i could even ask my buddy to weld me up something no i was like the, the it's the uh hey go to valley village for a destination uh, to look for something but anyway so josh and i went back over to the lego area the toy area and he's pulling out these bags that i didn't even pay attention to before <laughs> so it's like oh it's behind this one it's behind this like he's got a sharp eye that kid and we find four bags <clears throat> and Overall, there is going to be a ton of non-Lego in here. You can just tell by the bags. There's a ton of non-Lego here. But there is an insectoid in here. <laughs> and I don't think it's the big, big set. Um, I probably did a review on it. I don't remember the set numbers off the top of my head. But I'll just start with this bag here. Now, these bags... The big bags were $12.99, and the one bag was smaller. It was $7.99. Um, but the rest, I think, we, we paid $12.99. But I'm 55 now, <laughs> which means I get the senior's discount. <laughs> That's really Which is 20% off. But wait, there's more. Uh, in this instance, Sandy got a, a discount card, coupon, code, uh, for for today only or this week only, uh, thirty percent off on anything that wasn't closed basically. So uh, I bought a little. Uh, it's not even a camera carrying case. It's a little tiny padded case that I bought. I wish I had it years ago. A, a GoPro a GoPro would fit perfectly in it. It's this perfect little tiny zipper pouch that I can just either it's got a belt thing or it's a, a shoulder strap. So I threw that in there. Uh, I picked up the soundtrack to Titanic. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I picked that up just to copy it because uh, as soon as you put a CD into my minivan, you hit a button and it copies that CD to the hard drive that's built in. Uh, and so I got a whole bunch of soundtracks and music on there. A lot of classical music and some, you know, rock and roll. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we bought a lot of stuff. Sandy bought some clothes too for Josh and her. But the overall, we bought uh, uh, the, the entire bill was $63.00. Um, and everything that wasn't closed had a 30% discount. <laughs> Fantastic. So, so $12.99, 30% 30 off of that. I'm not going to do the math. I was never very good at math anyway. Um, but I'm going to open up the, the really cool one first, just in case the battery dies like I did yesterday. Uh, and I think that's this one. So 
Uh, we'll see what happens. And again, I got my spin of non-Lego there because there's going to be tons of non-Lego going in there. Uh, you can just tell already that there's just stacks and stacks of non-Lego in this lot. But it's the big one. I, I recognize the hinge, if I remember correctly. It is, but I don't think it's all here. And it can, a lot of it's not Lego. Uh, this guy, yeah, so this is because it's a little base that came with it. Uh, but here it is. I, I, I don't know if there's, uh, hopefully, hopefully the, <laughs> the batteries are okay. Um, let's just see if I remember how to take this. Well, at least they didn't leak. They leaked. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Sorry, I should have said that. Bad people. <laughs> Icky batteries. Uh, those go right into the trash can. Um, I can't see down there. Um, I will have to clean that up. <clears throat> but do I have any batteries myself? I have an RCX. That, might, that, may, that may have batteries in it. Let's see. Beautiful job. Anyway, um, we'll take some batteries out of here, just just to test, just because I feel like testing. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I just love my life sometimes. <laughs> take the batteries out because I ain't gonna clean that. Um, put these back in the RCX because I like the RCX sound slightly better. Um, but that works. So this is the insectoid base, arachnid base, whatever it's called. So I'm going to keep on doing that. That's not Lego. That is Lego. Uh, do a quick, quick, quick sort of stuff, of shuff, as they say. That's definitely Lego, but make a block on top. Uh, that's Lego. This is going to be too much to... Uh, it looks like it's basically a Lego. I'll worry about that when I put it in the uh, thing. So, so far, so far, so far. Some old dark gray, obviously, because it's insectoids. Some old light gray. Awesome. Uh, definitely not Lego. Lego. Uh, all this is looks like. Ow. <laughs> you would think I'd be smart. <laughs> you, you would think I would put a band aid on that. I don't give big pieces. I hope I didn't start bleeding. Um, this is all not Lego. Can guarantee that. Uh, so that's definitely not Lego. That is Lego. That is Lego. This is not Lego at all. Uh, this is going to be a mix, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to go through that. I'll take the pieces off that I see. Um, I don't want to bore you too much with the sorting, um, but I just want to get uh, the majority of it done before I go into the next bag. This is all Lego, not Lego, not Lego, not Lego, not Lego, Lego, <coughs> Lego. And again, with plates, you have to look sometimes. That is Lego. So let's put this bottom on. Uh, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> that was silly of me. <laughs> um, so the, the next bag, I already see some cool stuff in it that is Lego related and insectoids related, and some non insectoids but still Lego related. So small on the floor. Definitely not Lego, but um, it goes in there, it goes in there, that's definitely going in there, it's gone, that's gone, that's gone, gone, this is really not Lego, nope, nope, uh, look for a solid stud with no logo on top, that's not Lego, for one by one round, that is Lego, that is not, that is not, that is, is, is not not magnet holder insectoids <laughs> and no nope uh yep little tree <laughs> i love these little trees i always did i like the big trees because those were my childhood but uh, i like the little tree too um so let me get rid of this stuff get rid of this stuff there's the rest of it it's got the it's even got the little um cardboard magnet thing on top that the magnet attracts to which is fantastic i don't even want to know what that rag stick is so uh, this bag is more non-lego than lego which is fine i mean overall the last bag was more lego than non-lego so 
you, you take what you get. That's definitely not Lego. Definitely not Lego. Definitely, definitely not Lego. See, it's already sticking. <laughs> the paper is already sticking. Um, <laughs> I love that part. Not Lego, not Lego. Uh, not Lego, not Lego. And, and, and people ask, like, what what do I have against uh, clone bricks? I, I don't... I'm an adult fan of Lego, and that's just, just, just the way it is. And I I personally, and you can get into the history of how Lego got Lego, uh, but my entire life and my childhood, entire childhood, it was just, this is cute, <laughs> Ronald McDonald. Um, my, my childhood is Lego because, of course, there was no clone brands that were compatible to Lego when I was a kid. You had the other building blocks that were um, not Lego and would not, um, you couldn't mix them with Lego. Uh, but Mega Blocks started coming out in, I don't know, I don't even know what year they started coming out. Connects. So I might be able to build the entire Arachnid base. We'll have, excuse me, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm just going to take the lid off the garbage can because there's going to be a lot of garbage going in here. Um, that's not to do with anything. That's garbage, garbage. That's that, that. Uh, doing a very, very, very quick sort um, because I do want to get to all the eggs. Hey, they even have some biodical in here. Um, this Lego, this is not, this is definitely not uh and so all that this this entire bin's gonna when it's full it's going to go back to bb and i'll get another discount card so that's uh bag number two this is bag number three i there was five bags there as i say the one i saw in the wall was 100 percent not lego and it didn't have i don't think it was their last time we were there so that's why i didn't even bother looking i didn't think they had anything new so I, when Josh and I went back, I was surprised to see all this stuff. But again, he had a sharper eye than I do, uh, which is really cool. Um, holy moly. So this is right there, and that goes there. This is part of the base. Um, I always, this is like, it, it looks like they just took apart, disassembled the base. I always like this piece. I used it a lot in the, my original layouts. Uh, to, uh, two by four by four half uh, cylinder. Uh, definitely not Legos. Uh, that is. There's one of the eyes. Fantastic. I already did the review on the Arachnid base years and years ago. If you look at through my feed, I might try to find the link. I keep on saying that I should actually try to link more stuff to get some cross contamination or whatever you want to call it. Linking back to my other videos when I start talking about them. Um, but I just don't bother. <laughs> I got in there yet. I always liked that logo on the printed bricks. I always thought that was a really cool thing. Um, but let's just keep on going. This bin is definitely, definitely getting full. Uh, Lego, Lego, not Lego, 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 not Lego, not Lego. Uh, all the, all the silver looking stuff is definitely not Lego. But that is an old gray, which I like to see. I'm a big fan of old gray, as people might understand. Again, so when it comes down to the tiles, you actually have to look. And of course, you can see it almost by the shade that these are not Lego red. But you look at the bottom, it doesn't say Lego in, on the inside at all. So definitely, and there's another... Um, oh, non-Lego, non-Lego. That is definitely Lego. That is garbage. Oh my God. Uh, Lego, 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 not Lego, not Lego, not Lego. <laughs> Looks like they spilled wax or something on the the Mega Block, which again doesn't bother me any. Um, so looks like they had a Star Wars set, but that's not. Oh, that is Lego. Wow, they scratched that one up pretty good. Looks <laughs> close scratched up. It looked like it was non Lego. Um, just fine. It's what happens sometimes. Uh, what do I still got here? Uh, definitely not Lego minifig legs that are not Lego minifigs. And this is in here. That's Mega Block and Mega Block and Lego, Lego, Lego. I'll be washing the stuff before it goes into the collection, but I'll probably be building that base and just uh, storing it with the rest of the uh, 
sets that I've built. So I, I mentioned this before, but you might not have heard of it. I, I, when I did all those reviews, I did not take apart any of those sets. They are all still together and they are all still, uh, I put most of them in Ziplocs and I put the Ziplocs inside my big rugged uh, totes and they're in storage right now. So if I ever get around to it, I've been thinking about it, just uh, spending a weekend and setting them all up either on the living room floor or somewhere else to say, hey, this is all the stuff that I've built so far. And of course, as not to say this too loud, but as, as most people know, I could potentially build a lot, a lot, a lot more. <laughs> I just don't bother because uh, I want to build other stuff besides sets. I, I like I want to get back into building and adding more details to the layout and uh, maybe doing something radically different. I keep on thinking about it. I just haven't had time. So that's uh, three bags. And now for the last bag, which I saw in here had um, another one of those things. So that's why I grabbed it. And more legs for the arachnid base. I think it's called the arachnid base. I mean, I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I did review. Um, But as you can see, the the forty dollars, forty plus dollars I spent on the the four bags. There is a lot, a lot of non Lego in here, especially this one. It's got these big huge ramps that basically they cost it out the Lego, but whatever. Oh yeah, so talking about that again. There there is that idea that Lego itself stole quote unquote or got the idea of the automatic binding brick from a different company way back in 19 whatever 40 i don't, know, I don't care <laughs> uh fully understood there is history there uh but my point is is that they 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 bought it they started making their own bricks and then um that's probably from the star wars set um and then they patented it and then and then what happens is supposedly the patent expired on the basic bricks so uh mega block and other companies like that started making their own basic brick sets i remember that first when mega block first came out it was just basic bricks they didn't get into anything fancy until much later um somebody who is a mega block fan would know what that is but i don't care <laughs> um so, so the Lego company, the patent expired after X number of years. And so other companies were allowed to jump on board and make their own uh, bricks that were compatible with Lego. I get that everything's business and capitalism and all that stuff. But it just, you look at what the Lego company did over the decades that they had it and the effort they put into it to keep the uh, quality consistent. And again, you can make the argument that there have been years where the quality wasn't as top notch as it was other years. But most of the time of 98% of the decades that Lego has been, been produced, they, they make extremely high quality sets and high quality pieces. And uh, they put a lot of effort into taking care of kids and communities and blah, blah, blah. So that is one of the other reasons why I'm a fan of Lego and not other building systems um, that are out there. Uh, and I can just see from the pieces that I'm sorting out now, like the Arachnid base is older, old, guaranteed to be older than the Mega Block pieces that I have sorted out here. And the Mega Block pieces I have sorted out here are just honestly, for me, they look like crap. <laughs> they feel like crap. Like the, 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 the average Joe, the average kid is, is not going to care guaranteed and I, I fully understand that they're just going to get a big box for christmas that the parents paid less than if they bought a small box of lego i get that i fully understand the fact that all the other clone brands overall historically are cheaper than buying the lego sets you get a lot more pieces and a lot more quote-unquote bang for your buck if you buy the clone sets than if you buy lego my problem is uh, you can for somebody like me who's been building with Legos entirely, there is a huge quality difference. And and then and then you know, build to rule or whoever else the Tycos come out with their their Lego or Lego compatible sets, and they are much higher quality than Mega Block, and they are comparable straight up. They are absolutely comparable to uh, the quality of Lego pieces. But again, on that specific idea, 
I am still a fan of Lego. <laughs> I'm not an adult fan of just like toy building blocks. Uh, if it wasn't Lego, it wouldn't be anything. I'd be out my wood shop doing stuff out my wood shop and stuff like stuff like that. So um, clean that off. So all this is here. Um, what I am missing, I'm noticing this. What I am missing are the big uh, dark gray uh, half or quarter circle uh, plates in the bottom that go in the bottom. So there are parts and pieces that are missing. I keep on thinking it's bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should put a band-aid on it. Um, but overall, uh, there's that. There's these guys. All the legs. One, two. I think it had four big legs. And then um, maybe six. Yeah, there's five. This guy here. Uh, this is sort of a little base. They had the feet for the uh, little base there. Um, this is all the little stuff. And that's over there. Um, so it, it looks like I'm going to be able to build quote unquote in the, in the seats, trans green leg. There's one, I thought I saw the other one somewhere in here. I could be wrong. Um, these guys, obviously. So that's not, it's not that disappointing. I, I think it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good to have this much that goes there. Um, and a Y-Wing, maybe, if I remember correctly. It could be a different uh, um, part of it anyway. Um, Star Wars set. And this guy. It could have been that. Um, I think it came with a Y-Wing and, and a TIE Fighter collab. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Uh, so I think there's other bags that were missing. I, I didn't see them. They could have been already purchased. Uh, but I got these guys here. And I, uh, sorry, I just remembered I used my dark gray bottom pieces, the quarter curve pieces in my, uh, new space theme. Uh, so I probably not going to build that guy. Let's probably just wash them, sort them into the collection. Uh, not Lego. Um, but in the end for 40 ish dollars minus, uh, 30%, I think that's a very, very, very worthy haul of Lego. Uh, good, unique parts uh some basic brick obviously some basic brick but some good unique parts some trans neon green um the legs i always thought were cool i used them a lot in my my uh personal um uh, uh theme um so i'm okay with this <laughs> i think it's pretty neat so this is my friday night uh i'm probably not gonna revisit this for the rest of the weekend I'm going to probably just leave this here. That's full now. Uh, the bin, uh, the non-lingo bin is full. I'm going to take that to Valley Village. I'm sure we'll get there this weekend. Uh, but I am happy I got more of these because I, I was running when I was building all the sets uh, for the um, for my for my videos. I was running out of those guys, especially ones that still had the stickers on top. So I I got two more in this lot, at least two more. And so having the, uh, the little metallic stickers on top, there's two there, uh, happy with that. As you can see, so you can see them, uh, and the antennas and the little, the mineral detector antennas. <laughs> um, so this is, I think a very worthy lot for me to, uh, I'm glad I bought it. Uh, I'm probably, um, missing uh a few more bags as i say that's missing a, a bunch of pieces um and i'm not gonna worry about it i'm just gonna break it all down now because i think about it and i'm gonna put it all into my collection so it doesn't matter how many pieces are missing from that set i'm not gonna bother rebuilding it <laughs> so uh but what i am going to try now that i'm looking at it because this is part of it is i'm going to find mine in the bag somewhere because i this is this is the odd part I remember buying two of them, the big, the Rackna base. I remember buying two of them off a shop at home, a uh, Lego shop at home, way back in the day when they used to say every week there was a sale, um, um, overstock or, uh, what do you call that? When they discontinue, um, dumping all the old sets. Uh, and so that's when I was at shop at home a lot back in the early two thousands. That's when I picked up some aqua zones and stuff like that. And, um, I picked up. Uh, two arachnid bases, really, really cheap. 
and the other big uh, wheeled set uh, from the insectoids that I did a review on. Um, I picked up one of those. And so I, I know I have two, I should have, I'm going to say that, I should have the ability to build two of those sets. When I was building just one of them for the review, I was really uh, missing pieces <laughs> that were not unique to that set, but pretty rare. Uh, and so after building all the other sets, <laughs> so, um, cause I saved the biggest to last, which, so, so here's a bit of a tangent. Had I started now to do the, um, reviews of sets, I would start, I would have started from the biggest set and worked my way backwards <laughs> because when you build the big sets, you get all those pieces. Uh, when you build all the small sets, you use all those pieces up for the 50 sets before you get to the big sets and all of a sudden, oh, I already used these pieces. And of course you, you might remember a few times I did, but for just being me, I did build multiple copies <laughs> of the same set for the review. And, and, and I kept them together. Like I do, I do have a, the tote with, I, I, I want to say 17, probably 15, six, eight, eight O's. Uh, so, and, and you think that's not a big set. It's really not a big set. It's a 6880. Uh, but it does take up 12 of my favorite tires. And so if 12 times 15 or however many I built, that's a lot of tires. So when it came out to build leg later sets that use the same tire, like the uranium surge vehicle, <laughs> thankfully I already had one of those together. So I didn't have to, uh, build it. Although I think right now, if I look up there, <clears throat> um, Wow, I thought I would thought I would have kept one of those on display. Uh, I did not keep one of those on display, <laughs> but um, so I have, I believe, in the totes now because I thought I kept one up here and I didn't. Uh, I have two uranium search vehicles because um, it is a cool set and it's one of my favorites. Six nine two nine, I think. Uh, no, that's the Starfleet Voyager. I can't remember what the uranium search vehicle is, uh, but it is one of my cool sets. Uh, and so I have. That's not legal. Um, I have two of them built in the bag, at least two. Oh, there's the other thing. So there's two. There's... I can probably build most of it. Anyway, uh, so and you remember I built, um, I don't know how many, five, I guess, uh, six, nine, eight O's <laughs> for whatever reason, um, just because I could. Um, I kept on finding those for a while. I, I think I told you the story that I kept on finding, like, buying used lots off of Facebook and, and, and going to Valley Villages and Once Upon a Child that over a couple of years, I acquired more 6980s. And, and honestly, and I keep on talking about this, if we can go off on this tangent now. So the 926, the, the base, um, came in two flavors. It came without a crater plate, just a 32 by 32 base plate. Uh, that you built your own craters using uh, 45 degree slopes and the macaroni bricks. That was for a year, and I think then it, they then they invented the crater plate and they put the crater plate in the box for the 926. So, uh, but I did not get a 926 until well past the time uh, they were discontinued. Uh, I did not buy a new one off the shelf. I didn't buy. I hardly, I didn't buy too many three digit space sets off the shelf. I got the 918 for Christmas, absolutely, the year they were released. But I did not buy, because again, the next year or the next time I got space sets for Christmas, I got the 68, uh, uh, the 6880, I mentioned, the 6890, the, the, two, the, the two part spacecraft. I got uh, my little scooter and I got the little uh, probe launcher, <clears throat> the four sets. And then I started buying my own. So we're already in the four digit sets when I started buying my own Lego. Now, to be said, back in the day of 1981, 1980, if you went into a toy store or Zellers, as we call up here in Canada, uh, you would find four digit sets and three digit sets <laughs> at the same time. As a matter of fact, when I showed you that brochure the last time, it's over here somewhere, um, where did I dump it? I, I don't think it's in the space page. Uh, but the, uh, I don't think there's any three digit sets here in the space page. This is 1983. Uh, so this is, uh, the base plates are three digits over here, but I don't think there's any three digit space sets there. Uh, but if you look at the castle sets, 
375. They still had three digit sets in 1983 on the store shelves, <laughs> right? So it is what it is. Um, so you could you could buy in the early 80s, you could still buy the two digit, uh, three digit sets. I didn't. Uh, when I was walking into the store and I bought the 6980, um, I don't remember having any opportunity to buy any three digit sets anymore. So I did not buy a 926 originally. But I can build probably maybe three or four of them. And the only thing that's deficient for me to build more is the one five by six by or one by six by five printed brick with the repaired satellite. I think I only own three or four of those pieces. Whereas the 6970, the Beta 1 command base, I did buy off the store shelf. <laughs> way back in the day and then beer money <laughs> for lego at the end of high school and then the ad in the paper uh before the internet i can guarantee straight up i had at least eight of those printed bricks uh with the the guy in the rocket launch uh the alpha one lock rocket launch from the beta command so i and i had uh like at least eight of the uh one by six by five trans yellow windows and not just from the 6971, uh, but from the Beta 1s, because I had multiple copies of the Beta 1. I only bought one new off the shelf, but uh, from the acquiring, I got a whole bunch. I rarely, rarely, and I remember to this day, rarely got a 926 in my acquisitions. It was a very, very low sold set, I would imagine, because again, it came out in 78, 79, uh, and it was the big set next to the Galaxy Explorer. Uh, the Alpha 1 rocket launcher, I got multiple copies of uh, and used lots. But, excuse me, the 926, I did not. And so it is a little bit of a shame for me because uh, I love the 926. It is it is a really cool set. And uh, I thought it was very, very well done. I mean, I love the Beta 1. I'm going to be straight up. I remember building the Beta 1, uh, buying it off the store shelf and running home and building it and making Lego Wars. Um, but I had the Beta 1. Before we even talked about making Lego Wars, it wasn't until the 6971 came out, uh, the whatever base that's called, the command center, um, on stilts, that I bought that specifically for the movie. <laughs> so, so uh, I but I had to find it, and that didn't come out until I don't know how many years after the, the Beta 1 came out, two or three. Uh, maybe this is, I can't remember, maybe it's the next year, but it, w it was pretty close. It wasn't because we made the movie in 84, 85. So uh, the 6971 was released then, and I just had a tough time finding it. It's definitely not 1983 because it's not in this brochure here. The Beta 1 is in this one here. Um, no, it's not. The Beta 1's not even in. Oh, there's, yep. 6970, Beta 1 command base. So 1983, the Beta 1 was available. Uh, we made the movie in 84. I think it's 83. I think it said 83 in the beginning here. Um, uh, it's 1983, Lego Group. So um, the Beta 1 was available. The 6971 was not available in 1983. But when we made the movie, I think it was 84 when we made the movie, um, that's when the, the 6971 was available. And as I said, I had to ride my bike down to Jackson Square to pick one up. <laughs> Because we need we needed it for the movie, um, so um, but I already had the beta one for a bunch of years, and um, which is why anyway uh, not to dwell on that part. But the nine two six is one of those was one of those elusive sets that I always wanted. Uh, even looking at the original brochures uh, that I got with the nine one eight and the four sets I got the next Christmas, uh, I always wanted the nine two six, and I didn't get it till well after. Uh, I don't even remember. I, as I said, I don't think I got it with beer money. Uh, maybe I did. I just don't remember. But I remember I, I didn't get it till uh, that I built one until I was well into my 20s, which is kind of sad. Uh, I had already built the Galaxy Explorer. I already had multiple copies of the Galaxy Explorer by then uh, from the from the uh, ads in the paper and going around picking up stuff at garage sales and stuff. Um, because And from Lego Wars. <laughs> So, um, and that was in the eighties. Uh, I, I have such a fun, I, I have so many tangents I could go on to right now and I've already bored most people on this channel. Um, I had so much fun in my, in my teens and, and nobody, 
as I mentioned, I'm not going to go on dwell on this, but nobody was really, really uh, against me having this much fun with Lego in my late teens, which is very nice of them. Um, because I, I know I, I've, we, I remember the stories on Lugnet when it first came out and I just jumped on there with the, my virtual friends who I never met in real life overall, but they were telling, uh, we, we, we used to have, uh, epic threads about, uh, how you got to be an adult fan of Lego. And some people had really, I won't say horror stories, but basically horror stories, uh, about wanting to build with Lego and play with Lego when they were in their late teens and in their twenties and their friends and family and acquaintances were completely against that idea. And I'm going, I never had that. <laughs> I never, and if my friends were against it, they didn't tell me. <laughs> so, uh, I was again, extremely, extremely, and I keep on saying this. I was extremely blessed. I was extremely fortunate to grow up in the environment that I did where my mom was an artist and she was very encouraging of the various uh, things I wanted to do, even building the the, the moonscape. Because uh, we, we made Lego Wars before my parents got divorced. But uh, we don't even talk about that. But um, so I was very, very fortunate that I was able to do this, this hobby, and never have a dark ages and never have uh, an overriding uh personal concern thrust on me by other people saying that I should give it up. And, um, I mean, there is sometimes there was a dull roar about it. There was some murmurings that I vaguely remember right now. I can't even tell you who or what, but overall, all I had was positive responses to me, uh, making the movie, uh, building the interface with my Commodore 64, uh, building little robots that the Commodore 64 ran from, uh, you know, the 4.5 volt motors, all that stuff was just encouraged. And, uh, and if it wasn't encouraged, it wasn't discouraged. So I, again, very, very fortunate. And therefore, when I go to a store <laughs> like today and Josh, even now, uh, had better eyes than I did <laughs> today, far better eyes than I did. He says, dad, dad, there was Lego there. And I'm going, Oh, I, I, I wasn't being, I didn't see it. So we went back, we bought these four bags and I am glad we got these four bags. Yes, they were a little pricey today, the $12.99, a little steep. I don't like paying $12.99 in a bag, but as soon as I saw this, as soon as I saw this, as soon as I saw this, as soon as I saw these legs and then all the other pieces that were in there, uh, I said, this is worth it to me. Now, had I not seen them and there was still Lego, like basic brick and stuff like that, or friends stuff, I am, I, I am not, I have a whole bin of friends pieces to sort out. I'm just not interested. In I honestly not. And the bin can stay as full as it wants to <laughs> enough time uh, until I get the rest of the room done. Cause I got to get the room. It, it's, 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 I'm feeling a little discombobulated. I'm feeling a little bit uh, because I got this little pathway again, going to the door. <laughs> I don't like that. I, I, I'm not a neat freak by any stretch, but I do like uh, neatness. I like everything to be, I'm not OCD, uh, except for network planning, but other than that, I'm not OCD, but I'm also not a slob. I am not a, even though the video says differently right now, <laughs> I'm not a slob. Um, I, I like my, my Legos uh, collection to be, uh, able to be used as easy as it possibly can be, which means that I have access to the pieces I want to go get. Oh, I have an idea. I got to go grab a piece. And right now I have to move stuff to get to some of my bins and that bothers me. So I was going to focus on getting the Lego room cleaned up, but we still go to Value Village and we find four bags. <laughs> so so I, 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 I am happy about it. I'm happy that I, we got this stuff. Um, I'm just going to keep on taking this thing apart and seeing if there's any mega block and or other icky bricks in here. Um, I will always cl classify them as icky bricks. Sorry, uh, for all those companies that don't like me now because I call their stuff icky. Um, but I am not a fan. I mean, I'm not a hater of other building brick companies, but I am not a fan of other Lego brick companies or building brick companies. I'm an AFOL. And so therefore, um, you guys should have, in my opinion, come up with your own ideas and your own, uh, system of play and you didn't. 
you basically ripped off somebody else. You jumped on the bandwagon and you make them cheaper. And, and, and straight up, in my opinion, worse quality. Uh, even today, if, I got this argument with somebody about uh, Mega Block or Mega Construction, whatever they want to call themselves, are much better quality now. Yes, they are. They're better quality now than they were from these pieces here. But they still build crappy sets. <laughs> straight up. Uh, Lego has two. Uh, Lego has the, the mid to late 90s. The, <laughs> the, everybody's about to put blenders on and forget about. But um, in the end, uh, yeah, you guys just, to me, you guys were just jumping on the, basically reinventing the wheel and making a lot of money off of it and riding on the coattails of the Lego company without putting in the effort. Uh, and that bothers me a little bit. So, uh, no harm for, like, I'm not losing sleep over it. But um, I do believe that you guys could have done your own thing and put some effort into your own thing instead of just blatantly ripping off somebody else. But not my call. Um, I think after 41 minutes, <laughs> sorry, it was going to be a quick video. Uh, I'm going to say that's it, that's all. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to have a busy day tomorrow. Um, I have to get the stuff into the mail. I was supposed to get that done tonight, but we went to Valley Village instead. And therefore, after Valley Village, the, the um, post office was closed because I have a whole bunch of orders to fulfill. And I have the uh, mailing uh, almost ready to go. And uh, I just have to put all the envelopes together with your addresses on them. And uh, as I said earlier on the other video, this will be possibly my last bulk mailing uh, to you guys and expecting you guys to pay me later when you guys get it. Uh, going forward, I, I haven't even logged into my eBay account in years, but I'm going to log into my eBay account and quote unquote, hopefully set it up to allow you guys just to order these bricks from eBay and I will just do one offs as you order them and then drop it off in the mail. Um, and again, it's going to be five bucks for a set of four bricks. Uh, some people have asked for uh, six bricks, uh, one set for 918 and two sets for 924. That's perfectly acceptable. I can mix and match. Some people want alternative numbers. Uh, instead of 918 and 924, they want uh, their own numbers. I have zero issue with that. I, the, the Cricut can print whatever you want it to print. So I'm going to get those printed, uh, that, that one off. I'm going to get those printed tomorrow and get those in the mail. Um, because, uh, again, time's wasting and, um, I like doing it. Honestly, I do like doing it. And, and what, what basically, let's go off on this quick tangent, <laughs> keep on doing this to you. Uh, what happened this time is, uh, during the, the weeding process and the, um, putting the stickers onto the brick besides the quick video I made yesterday, uh, I've been watching Suits on Netflix. Uh, and I cannot believe, I cannot tell you, I cannot possibly fathom, because I love, there's been very, very, I, I do love TV shows. Like, I mean, I have a list of, of my favorite TV shows since I was a kid. Uh, but that, that list hasn't been added to in a long time for new shows. Uh, and I did not watch Suits at all when it was on during its run on television. At all, I heard about it, uh, but I did not watch one episode, not one. And so, what what had happened was, as I stumbled across a few YouTube clips of suits, uh, uh, five minute clips or less, and I go, oh, I didn't even know Gina Torres was in it. <laughs> and and if you know me, you know I have a an appreciation for the wonder that is Gina Torres. <laughs> so, so one person in the world is going to get that reference. <laughs> so, I have an appreciation for the wonder that is Gina Torres. Uh, Gina Torres is one of my favorite actresses. And I'm going to say it is because of Firefly. <laughs> it's so that is one of my favorite shows of all time. Uh, even though there's only 13 episodes. Um, and so Gina Torres uh, also is in uh, one of our new uh, show that's hasn't made the top 10 by any stretch but she's in 911 Lone Star with Rob Lowe and I appreciate Rob Lowe uh going through the Brat Pack and who he is now I appreciate him and I read his book uh that he published a few years back 
I got it. Sandy gave it to me for Christmas. I read it, and I and I just like Will Wheaton and my appreciation for him, and the writing and the stuff. I'm I'm still going through, uh, just uh, still just a geek. I'm loving it. But anyway, so um, all that to be said is Gina Torres is on Nine One One Lone Star, which is one of the reasons why I watched Nine One One Lone Star besides Rob Lowe. Um, so I've always appreciated the actress. I've heard her in some interviews and she seems like a, a class act in real life. And I do appreciate that. But again, I always like to separate the product from the person. Uh, but in, in this case, the product and the person are fantastic. So when I was starting to watch Suits, hey, Gina Torres is in it. Of course I'm going to watch it. <laughs> it's like why I watched The Rookie because Nathan Fillion's in it. <laughs> it's, it's like, so quick tangent again. Um, so they finished Firefly. They got canceled and I won't. You know, it's Fox. <laughs> Damn you, Fox. But um, so Firefly gets canceled. Nathan Fillion goes on to make, I don't know how long after Firefly was canceled. I think it's before the movie, Serenity. But he, he, he was in another Fox show. I think it was Fox called Drive. I think it was called Drive. See, this is my flaky memory. Uh, where it was like um, the cannibal run, <laughs> but it wasn't. It was a serious show. But basically, his, his girlfriend slash whatever gets kidnapped by a bad guy who demands that in order for her to stay alive, that Nathan Fillion's character has to drive this souped up car across the country uh, like a cannibal ru uh, run race or a death 2000, well, more like death 2000 with Lee Majors. That's an obscure reference. Death Race 2000. I think it was called that. Death Race 2000. But anyway, uh, and I think they only made three or four episodes maybe I, wa I remember watching maybe it was just a pilot and it didn't get picked up but I remember watching it because Nathan Fillion's in it and, and, and uh, Firefly had just folded it was just cancelled and I was already attached to the actor that is known as Nathan Fillion and uh, so I'm going to watch his next thing and it was Drive and that didn't last too long unfortunately and then, and then we heard um, that he was going to be in Castle and OMG, oh, like, talk to us today about how much Sandy and I adored Castle, at least for the six, six, the first six seasons. It got a little hokey at the end, but some shows do. But Castle was almost, almost this close to a justification for canceling Firefly because I could, I say this without any ambiguity, Castle would not have been Castle without Nathan Fillion as 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 uh, uh, for crying out loud, Castle, Rick Castle, um, and, and 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 his mom and his daughter, um, and and of course Stan Kadich, um, Stan Kadich, <laughs> depends on how, if you're Canadian or not, uh, and there and, and Esposito and and, and Javier, um, but it was uh, I mean uh, Ryan and Esposito. It was such a great show and from the, from the pilot. And I watched the pilot because Nathan Villain's in it. And I watched it and I so it was hooked immediately on Castle. And so we watched it the entire way through. And yes, it got really bad at the end. And I'm not going to go into why it got bad at the end. But, uh, but it, it, was, and it was sad to see how far it fell because the first five or six seasons were just perfect. Perfect television. It was fun. It was there was some good comedy there. There was his, his references to other stuff and 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 like everybody from Star Trek was on the show, <laughs> which was awesome. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the Quirk was there and a few other people. Um, so uh, I we loved Castle. Sandy and I both adored Castle. So uh, so Nathan Fillion they they wrapped that up because again it jumped the shark a little bit. Uh, and then, um, and then he disappears for a little tiny bit. And all of a sudden we hear that he's going to be in a, in a cop drama. And I said, Oh, that's fantastic. Cause we loved him in a cop drama. So <laughs> we just got out of the cop drama that we loved him in. We got to watch him again. And then, and then, uh, the rookie shows up and he plays basically contrary to, uh, Captain Mal and Rich, Richard Castle and all the other characters he played so far, except it's the same because <laughs> he's a cop. Uh, he's the oldest cop in the force and so we love we love the rookie and then and then simon's on there and and uh and then uh, river showed up for an episode 
and even even uh, uh, his daughter Alexis from uh, Castle shows up for an episode, and Alan Tudyk shows up for an episode. Jane shows up for an episode. Uh, I adore that about him. He seems to want to bring his friends along with him uh, when he does other shows, uh, which I'm here for, like straight up. I'm gonna be there for that. So, um, so anyway, I love television. I love I love good, well written, well acted. Uh, shows that entertain me and a lot of people say it's fluff a lot of people say it's like whatever it's like not worth it no I I, I, I don't live and die for television but I, I grew up on TV I was known as a living TV guy back when I was in school because like, we did watch it I used to know who producing it who was directing it I used to know all that stuff now I just sit the I said sit back and be entertained by it um, and so when I hear that Gina Torres who was one of my favorite characters, uh, Zoe on, on Firefly. Uh, she did some other stuff here and there. She was on um, uh, Matrix 3. <laughs> so so, uh, uh, so I'm going to watch her. And, and, and so I, again, bring it right back to Suits. Uh, so she's on Suits, and she is my favorite character on Suits, straight up. I'm uh, saying I've been, been binge-watching it um, and uh, just watching her just steal every scene that she is in. Uh, it's just, uh, I just admire her so much that her expressive nature, not just her face, but her whole body stance expresses uh, everything she wants to express. Um, the way she commands every scene she walks into, uh, or if she's just sitting in a chair, <laughs> sipping a glass of wine, uh, I, I am honestly there for it. And uh, I cannot get enough of her. I know she's leaving the show because, um, again, I'm years behind. Uh, I know that she's not there to the end, but I, I am there. I am just watching her and just uh, just eating it up, uh, and I, that's one of the, one of the main reasons why I love the show. And I love the two the two mains, um, Harvey, Harvey and Mike, uh, and the and the story is interesting, and it's like what's going to happen next, and kind of thing. Um, and so again, I'm 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 here for good television, uh, and I'm going to stay watching it until. Like just like Castle, I'm gonna stay until the last episode, even though some people say it jumped the shark. Like I think, quote unquote, most shows jump the shark after a while. I think what happens is that maybe writers get complacent. I don't know. I'm not a writer. <laughs> well, I did write a book once, but um, I am not. I'm not a, 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 a television writer. Uh, a lot of people said the Big Bang jumped the shark, and I'm going. I I, I understand what they're saying, but I watched Big Bang from the pilot to the very last episode unless I was sick or in the hospital or camping, I never miss an episode just like the Gilmore girls. Um, it is still to this day, that is in my top 10 favorite shows of all time without, without ambiguity, uh, is the big bang theory. Uh, it had some, it had very, very few, but that did have some meh episodes, but overall every single episode made me laugh. Uh, made me happy. It made me want to be like these people. I've known people like them and uh, well acted. And uh, uh, I love the geekiness. I love Sheldon. Uh, I love I love Leonard. I love all the characters. Uh, and so it is one of my most favorite shows of all time. It, it's tough for me. The, my favorite show of all time. Uh, there's some contenders. West Wing. It's just like don't even start like it's the most brilliant show in the history of television it's just uh, some people say it's overrated yeah i can't even talk to you uh mash <laughs> again parenthetically related to west wing because alan alda was in both uh <laughs> but uh i i mash started in like 1974 i was seven <laughs> i think it was 74 the movie came out in 72 from her correctly the show came out in 74 and it ran 11 seasons which is nine seasons longer than the actual war uh <laughs> but but i i remember watching it in prime time i was too young to watch the first bunch of uh seasons but uh, as i got older uh and 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 whatever i got to watch mash uh while it was in its first run and i just adored it and then it was on reruns a lot uh, and then, uh, my friend got the box set and stuff like that. So uh, it's tough uh, between West Wing and MASH, uh, for that. Um, but even, even, and, and people find this to be a little bit strange, WKRP. Oh my goodness. It is, it is such a huge part of my childhood of watching WKRP. Um, 
because I love sitcom from the kid. Even this very young, we had Green Acres and and Petticoat Junction, and then and then Hogan's Heroes, and then Gilligan's Island, and then the Brady Bunch, and I Dream of Genie. <laughs> like all those, what a completely now are just fluff TV shows. Uh, rarely with a moral story to it. Rarely with anything of a lot of sexual innuendo for some of the shows. Uh, and, and just short Schwartz, fine. Uh, uh, Gilligan's Island and whatever else. Um, I, I'm not going to fault him. He made this is what he was good at, and so he did this up against. Yeah, I know producers. <laughs> sure was Schwartz, uh, and then uh, and then uh, um, the Spelling, Aaron Spelling, who did a lot of shows that I loved, a lot of shows I loved. But overall, uh, WKRP um, still holds a spot in my mind as. Again, some some weak episodes, but overall for the four seasons that it ran, just solid, solid episodes. Uh, funny sometimes, uh, thoughtful sometimes, a little bit dark for a comedy sometimes. Herb wrestling with alcoholism, Venus getting framed for uh, a murder because he's black, or uh, um, a robbery because or a crime because he's black. Um, but some.